Um, can you speak about the use of fantastic elements in your fiction? Can I speak about the use of fantastic elements in my fiction? Uh, I could speak at length about that, but I, and the short answer is, I think all fiction is fantastic. I think that we're asked to believe Gatsby there on West Egg, and that's just inc as incredible as something I'm describing. Um, I'm not trying to you know, be facetious here. I do think that the reading experience, all bets are off. Um, and I'm perfectly happy to use this way of telling stories to dig into the human experience. That, I mean, that, in the end, for all writers, fantastic or not, that's what this is all about. Yes? Um, what are you working on now? What am I working on now? I'm, I'm working on another book uh, that I refuse to talk about on the grounds that it may incriminate me. Oh. <laughs> yeah, watch for it. Okay. You're not a poet. No, I'm not a poet. Because your writing is so poetic. Oh, thanks. I like poetry. I've read poetry. <laughs> but poetry and I are not acquainted. <laughs> she actually took a question, but let me, let me ask you this. When did you start writing, and how do you feel like you've evolved as a writer? Uh, I started out as a child, to quote Bill Cosby. Uh, yeah, I started telling, I, I started, my first stories were when I was late for dinner as a child. And my parents would say, where where have you been? What, why are you late? You know, you're, when your father's car is in the driveway, you're supposed to come home. And I was always looking somewhere else. I never saw the car. And the first couple times they didn't like, they thought that's not sufficient. So then I lied. I made something up. I said something fantastical occurred, and I, that's consequently I'm late. Um, and they seemed to enjoy that. Uh, and so I kept doing it. And I had a, a wonderful seventh grade teacher, God bless anybody who's a teacher out there, who said, keep a journal, write whatever you want to write. Most of the kids wrote, you know, today we watch Dark Shadows. I made stuff up, you know, and I've been doing that ever since. Um, I wrote speeches professionally for a long time, and when I was 40, I decided to go back to my long-held dream of becoming a novelist, sat down, wrote The Stolen Child, thank you. <laughs> Didn't care about whether it would be, I, I mostly cared about could I do it? Could I actually do it? And when I did it, then I thought, well, maybe this is good enough to sell. I've read other books, and it took a couple of years to do, to sell. And uh, off we went after that. So, it's it's a long, strange journey. Okay, 11.40, that's my, that's my cue to exit stage left. Thank you very much. <laughs>